Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And I apologize in advance if today gets a little on the ADD side, but I'm gonna be bouncing around a little bit because I want to address a couple of things. And yes, we'll be driving a car. And yes, we'll be talking about the details of this car because today we've got yet another one of my friend Nino's cars. His 68 Camaro, another one built by the Vintage Motor Works guys. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering at this point, what's up with Nino? Is he some crazy rich guy? Well, here's the quick scoop on Nino. 25 years ago, this guy was a day laborer standing in front of Home Depot, hoping to get some work. He worked so much, got hired by a guy, learned the business that he's currently in, and started his own business, has done very well for himself. So this is a totally self-made guy that came from nothing and built what he's got. And now he appreciates the fruits of his labor with cars like this, and then he passes them on to me to show you guys and get to go drive. So. Today we're driving yet another one of Nino's cars, so hold on, because here we go, man. Here we go, you guys. Going for a cruise in yet another of Nino's cars. Something, if you haven't figured it out by now, one thing Nino's definitely into, he's into driver cars. He's not into trailer queens, show cars. He doesn't invest big into cars. He buys cars that he can drive and enjoy. So let's get into it. What is this car, man? This car is another one built by Nico and Henry, the father and son team called Vintage Motor Works. Nico built this car for himself. This was his passion project and Nico didn't have the quarter million dollar budget to build the cars that we see from some of the big name builders. But nonetheless, he built a really cool 68 Camaro here. Definitely big block power. Starts off with a big 502 crate motor with a four barrel Holley carb on it, making, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood, a little over 600 horsepower. Nico said he never took the time to have it dynoed, but you know, you do the math on it, it adds up. This is probably about a 600 horsepower car matched with about 600 foot-pounds of torque. There are a lot of people seem to go with Tremec. This one has a Richmond six-speed in it. it. Seems to work great. I gotta admit, the way it shifts probably takes a minute to get used to it. Kind of, kind of a little tricky finding the, the groove. The car just feels good. It feels planted, which you know, I gotta admit, there's some technology in the suspension that I had to ask Nico about as to why he chose this. So up front, it's got uh, tubular upper and lower control arms from Global West, Bilstein shocks, Global West coil springs. So we've got suspension up front. So here's the part where I asked Nico a question. On the rear, this car has leaf springs, Global West leaf springs. And I love his answer. I said, why would you build this car and put leaf springs on the rear? And here's the honest truth. He ran out of money. He put his budget into some other items, into the transmission, into the motor, and he couldn't afford it. Nino has plans to swap all that and go to a coilover, you know, maybe a four link rear suspension. But it's, I don't know, it feels good. This car feels like it's set up well. I would love to just pound on it because the 600 horsepower, I'm curious to feel it. The, the cam, it's got a comp cam in here and Nico said this thing's set to rev up to about 7,500 RPMs. Probably not gonna see that today. Car's got bare brakes all around, four piston front and rear. Plenty of stopping power. I love the wheels on this car and here's why. Nico and his dad are creative builders. Sometimes they, they don't have the big massive budgets, especially to build their own vehicles. So oftentimes they grab from stuff they have around their shop and, and figure out a way to have it work with actual real taste. So if you notice on here, the wheels are BMW. You'll see these on certain five series and seven series. And I was told even on the eight, I think it looks great on this car. I mean, no, it's not period correct, but I don't think the intent was to have this car be period correct. I mean, along with the wheels, you see carbon fiber treatments that are the front splitter Trans Am style, but it's 
but it's carbon. That's not period correct. A carbon wing on the back. That's not period correct. The color's not period correct. This is Bumblebee, dude. I'm told from Nico that they built this motor in-house. It's got Brodix heads on it. He's got long tube hooker headers on here. Hooker headers, man. It's a name I remember as a kid. Yeah, car feels good, man. Yeah, and this is another one that's, you know, it's old school in its approach. I mean, I do I do like that it's got some front suspension that makes sense to me. The leaf springs, I mean, I can feel it. You know, it'd be bitching to have this car on, uh, on coilovers, no doubt about it. Have an independent rear set up, but it feels good, man. And again, this is another one, you guys, where it, it gets more realistic to a guy like me, a lot of us, that... You know, man, I look at these quarter million and half million dollar builds and I drool over them and I'm grateful when I get to drive them, but yeah, you know, predictability of me owning a half a million dollar car, yeah, come on. But a car like this, I mean, this car, Nino's into this car for somewhere in the neighborhood of $80,000, you know, it becomes kind of realistic, right? Something maybe, you know, we can all work towards. I dig on the interior on this car, I think it's, another one where I go both ways man I love to see cars with radical custom fab and custom made parts like we see on Ring Brothers and Speedcore and Roadster Shop and you know totally custom made interior parts this car for the most part other than the color scheme in here for the most part the interior is a stock interior um, this is very much what we saw the wheels obviously not at least I don't think it is if I'm wrong, somebody correct me on this wood wheel being stock or not. The one thing on the interior, really not stock, obviously, actually two, is there is a stereo in here, which I quickly found the volume and turned down because I want to hear the sound of the car. And uh, the Ride Tech roll cage in here. It's a bolt-in cage. It's not welded into the subframe. But from what I understand from both Nino and Nico, is that it does add rigidity to the car. It's definitely made to deal with some of the natural flex points in a Camaro. But the simple is, man, this car feels good. It looks great. I dig the yellow color with the black stripes. Yeah, it's, come on, it's total bumblebee. But, so, does that make it bad? I don't think so. I think it's actually really cool. The billet mirrors, I noticed Nino has these on a couple of his other cars. Definitely remember seeing them on the Nova. I think he may have them on his Dart as well. And that tone, right? Those hooker headers just sound killer on here. It's very old school in its approach. I like showing them all, man. I like, I like the world of custom modified cars because I like to see the creativity from the big dollar builds to the small ones. I like the creativity it takes to work on a budget that's like this, under $100,000, that produces a car that's this cool. That's just fun acceleration, man. All right, you guys, well, that's it for my friend Nino's 68 Camaro. One thing I left out during the drive, because I was just kind of having fun driving this car, is uh, the tires he's got on here, which are worth mentioning, because they're the Toyo R888s. In the rear, he's running a 275 4018. Up front is a 235 4018. So he's got some sidewall, not massive tires, but here's the simple. This is a great build that you could actually own for under $100,000, man. You got a vehicle that looks amazing, a blast to drive, does killer burnouts, just very cool car, man. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. Thanks for hanging and watching and supporting the channel. Nino, I appreciate you, dude, and I'm looking forward to shooting a couple more of your cars because I know there's a couple more we're gonna get after. So that's it for today. Hope you guys had a good time. See you in the next one, man. All right, later.